Hey gang, you've got Jake here, and I'm just pulling some Krampus poems off the web as a little special treat for the regular Ghostly listeners out there. So, thank you again for tuning in to Ghostly Activities, and here are the Krampus poems. This one is The Krampus by Kenneth Widman. It was published 11 years ago. It's on allpoetry.com, so credit to Kenneth Whitman. The Krampus. Hear the bells, Christmas bells, ringing in the distance. Past the moon, across the sky, we knew him in an instant. A small lad from the town in the valley far below shouts, look up to all. I can see Rudolph's bright red nose. Way up there, the small reindeer pointing out the way. The gang's all here as 12 more appear to guide old Santa's sleigh. Santa brings a special glee, a sparkle to the eye. But brats take haste, the Krampus comes to darken up the sky. A jolly old soul with a heart of gold, Santa Claus is coming. With cloven hooves and goatish horns, the Krampus sends them running. As good Saint Nick will fill with toys his magical red sack. The Krampus has a birch club strapped across his back. Much larger than his counterpart, with fur from head to toe. Two horns as large as antlers, and claws where his hands should go. All the naughty children in rusty chains are bound. They'll smell the stench of brimstone as it rises through the ground. The earth will start to rumble, there's fire all around. The pits of hell will open wide, throw the children down. So sinister a creature, this frigid, hungry beast, will eat their burning bodies for a crispy Christmas treat. As Santa leaves our snowy town, the remaining kids will gather round, or the friends they'll shed a final tear and know that Krampus will be back in a year. one from Haunted Ghost Stories, Krampus is Watching. Through roofs of tin and roofs of thatching, beware, beware, Krampus is watching. See your creeping down yuletide stair to spot your gifts for mornings there, and should you see black tufts of hair, run, Black Peter awaits those who dare. To spoil the joy of holiday's morn, corporate greed receives his scorn. It's not just children who'd be well to fear. CEOs shiver when Black Peter's here. It is their greed that brings the Krampus near through the holiday and in New Year. This next one is called Krampus Knocked. It's from Erin Crittenden, and her website is The Writings of Erin Crittenden. Krampus is coming. Cover your sin. Block the fireplace. Don't let him in. Beware his switches, supple and thin, tied in a bundle, used with a grin. To punish the wrong, and flay the skin. He'd take our children off to his lair, stuffed in a rucksack, drenched in despair, to punish the homes he found in Ur. So lock all the doors and say a prayer. Close all the windows we must prepare, for Krampus is coming, that Christmas nightmare. This is one of my favorite Krampus poems. It's from hellopoetry.com. The writer is 
Jameson Bell. I recorded this one a few years ago, but I've been meaning to do it again. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> this one is called Krampus. It came upon a Christmas Eve not so long ago. A beast deformed in stature walked out from the snow. Its eyes were sharp and wild, jagged teeth like shards. It went from house to house, leaving hoof prints in the yards. Glancing into windows warm with light and life, it was here to reconcile an old and bitter strife. It had a back that screamed and cried as it dragged it on the ground. An awful thing, just an awful thing, to have to hear that sound. It threw its nose into the air and began to sniff and snort. This demon was on to something, but what I can't report. In the bitter cold, you could smell its breath of rot and discontent. The chains that draped its frame made its spine look broke and bent. The wind it howled in vain to warn the people of this beast. Its cries went unregarded as people sat before their feast. The demon ceased its searching when it came upon my house. I did my best to hide and stay as quiet as a mouse. I walked back into the shadows in the corner of my room, voiceless, breathless, terrified. What was this thing of gloom? I heard it leap onto the deck and drop its sack upon the floor. A resounding thud caked in mud. It wasn't crying anymore. I left my room and crept down the stairs to see if it got in, hoping it wasn't that demon who they said would eat my skin. It stood before the fireplace. The front door was opened wide. I don't know how this thing got in, but I had nowhere left to hide. It turned its face from the fire with a scowl you'd have to see. The demon had a quarrel all right, and that quarrel was with me. It pulled out from the pocket of its robe all blacked and charred. A burning piece of paper then handed me its card. The card only read Krampus before I felt its claws upon my throat. Now I'm in a bag with other kids set for some other place remote. We were bad and didn't listen to our parents and their orders. We broke a lot of rules and disrespected borders. Now old Krampus has us and he'll probably sell us off as food. This is what you get if you're whiny, mean, or rude. Now have a Merry Christmas, and do as you've been told, lest you wind up in the demon's bag being dragged upon the road. And the final Krampus poem is a warning to parents. This is Night of the Krampus, and it's from hauntedghoststories.com. The feast of St. Nicholas is on the morrow, but this eve's one of dread and sorrow. Tis Krampus knocked, and he's coming, his feet stamping a dreadful drumming. With clanging chains and foul breath, with horny horns and stench of death, with glowing eyes and many a bell that rings of things too dark to tell. So hold your sweet little wee ones dear and pray that they've been good this year. For if their behavior is deemed to lack, then Krampus shall put them into his sack. <laughs> <laughs> 